guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I finally, finally have my BoxyCharm box as well as my Boxy Premium, which is super heavy and as you can see, pretty damaged. It's also, I don't want to show you my address, but it it's really bashed in. So I do have two separate accounts for my BoxyCharms. My Boxy Premium is on one account and my BoxyCharm is on another account. I started a second account, not because like I love Boxy and I wanted two of anything. It's because I wanted a free gift and it, I didn't qualify since I still had Premium even though I had canceled the base box. So my base box, this is the card that I got and I already see a duplicate from this. I do, I already have this. I've used it up. It was in my June empties actually, or my May empties. I'm sorry. This is the pretty filter glassy skin balm by touch and soul. I didn't love this. I was really confused about it. I didn't know like if I should use it as a primer, if I should use it as a moisturizer or what. I think I might pass this along. We'll see. I need to take note of how many moisturizers I have. Um, I definitely don't need any more primers. I have a whole bunch of primers as it is. So that's the first item. The next item in the box is from Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Glow Powder. And it looks like this has been opened before because this flap was bent in. That's weird. All right, so the shade I got is Gold Digger. I have an Artist Couture powder. This was my choice, by the way. I think I might have this shade. I, I'm i not gonna open it and swatch it just because if I do already have it, that I don't want to have two of them open because I don't need two of this type of a um, glitter or highlighter, I mean. so. That one, I'll try to put an update here. I need to look through and figure out where it is in my highlighter collection because I'm not really sure where it is. I forgot to tell you values. All right, sorry. The Touch and Soul Pretty Gl Filter Glassy Skin Balm is $32. Um, and it just says that it creates the ultimate glow that lasts through the day and it's a balm. It doesn't really tell you how to use it. Diamond Glow powders are retail for $27, which is just crazy. All right, next up, this is from Beauty Vault with an E, and these are the Circadian Lip Liner Trio, and these are supposed to retail for $18. So there are three in here, and that's what the shades are. Um, it looks like, I'm gonna take them out, but I'm not gonna swatch them. This one is super brown being very careful. That shade is called, they're made in the PRC, Cozy Kira. This is Beau Babe, and Beau as in like Beaumont. And then the last one is Natty Nat, and that's a red. I don't use lip liners very much at all. They're something that I have a ton of, I have an entire like drawer in my plastic acrylic drawers that I never reach for. And I'm just, I'm not good at, I don't see myself using these shades and I don't see myself probably reaching for lip liners. It's something that I'm trying to work on, kind of like eyeliner because I never use that either. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pass these along because I don't see that they're anything that I would use on a regular basis. All right, next up is from Zoeva. This is the Spice of Life palette, and I did get a Zoeva palette two boxes ago, my first one with this new subscription, and then I got the essentials that I already had from Violet Voss last month. So I'm glad at least that my Zoeva palettes are different. This is what it looks like, and I do love that it's kind of like Art Deco, really beautiful packaging. That's what the shades look like. Let's swatch a few, because this is something that I will use. So I have two shimmers and two mattes. Okay, little powder on the mattes, not a lot. That is actually really pretty. I like those. Those seem to be, 
I'm gonna swatch the rest of them, hang on. Okay, so I did swatch all of them. This one right here did not, it looks better on camera, but it didn't swatch very well at all. That's this color right here, which is the one I was most excited about in all honesty. But I even like swatched it over on a smoother part of my hand to see if that would help, but that one's disappointing. But the rest of them I think are really pretty. I'm excited to play with this. I don't know if this is really like a summery palette. This really screams like fall vibes to me, but yeah, I'll keep it and I'll be interested to use it. I still haven't used my other Zoeva palette. It's on my list of things. I've been gradually using more and more palettes. That retails for $28, which isn't too bad of a price for a palette. My last thing in here is from Cab Cosmetics, um, and it looks like it's a lip liner and lip gloss. Two things that I don't use very much, but those are such a pretty color. Um, I'm going to I'm going to swatch these because they're pretty, and even if they aren't. Oh, that's a really nice like lip liner actually. So maybe, like I said, I'm trying to use lip liners. This one was really super soft, so I'll try to use that. Oh, and this retails for forty dollars. Forty dollars. I would never pay forty dollars for a lip liner and lip gloss. That is a huge applicator. Um, it smells nice. It smells like cake. I just hope it is a non-sticky formula but there's that. So my base box, $25 a month. What do I think? Um, this is, I mean, I think these are really pretty color, which is the reason why I'm keeping them. And the palette, I'm excited to use the palette. So there's two items, but there are five in this box. I have one that I'm unsure if I'm gonna keep or not because I think I might already have this shade. I know I have gold something in that. This one, I'm, I think I'm gonna pass this one along and see if somebody else will enjoy it more than I did because uh, we all have different skin and this might work much better for other people. And then the lip liner is definitely passing along. So two, two goods and two pass alongs and in all fairness, if I didn't already have used the Touch and Soul, I would be excited for it. But since I've already had it and used it, I'm just not excited about it. All right, moving on to Boxy Premium. Like I said, this one is heavy, like several pounds heavy. And once again, we have the little card. It says Oasis on it this month. Um, is that a wood carving or is that supposed to be fruit? I don't know. Anyway, the first thing I'm pulling out is from Living Proof. This is the Restore Repair Leave-In. Strengthens and transforms. It's a conditioner. I love leave-in conditioners. I use them all the time. Oh, this is like a pump. So it's not a spray, it's an actual pump. That's a winner in my book. I will use leave-in conditioners. I use them all the time. This retails for $30. Yep, wouldn't be paying that. That's for sure. All right, my next thing in here is from Glow Recipe. This is the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. This retails for $49. That's expensive, as Kathleen Lights would say. I don't have the cool way that she says it, though. That's what it looks like. I do have a sample of this, and I used it once. I haven't talked about it in samples Saturday yet. It's probably going to be a couple weeks before I talk about it because I'm not... I used it and then I got something else that I've been using instead. So I want to use it a few times before I actually talk about it. Then the next thing in here is from Baddington. This is a brush set. This is the brushes I bet that everybody got last month and I was very <clears throat> disappointed I didn't get last month. Yes, so that is what they look like. They are supposed to be, let me read the box really fast, a powder brush and a contour foundation brush. So I guess that's the foundation brush and that's the powder. They seem pretty small, like I'm used to fluffier powder brushes and a little bit denser foundation brushes, but I think I can make them work. These retail for $90. There's no way in heck I would pay $90 for these brushes. 
I won't even buy Wayne Goss, and I love Wayne Goss, but his brushes would be more worth $90 than those ones. All right, next up is from NARS. This is what I did choose. This is a Power Matte, matte Lip Pigment, and it is in the shade You're No Good. That was the only thing I didn't like, because I had no idea what shade I was going to get, and I just hoped I got a good one. This looks promising. I have... I've had one that I really liked. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. I love it. Um, that is definitely a me shade, something that I'm looking forward to wearing. Anyway, I had one of these. I had the Star Woman, and I didn't really like it, but I've had a neutral American Beauty or something, and that one I'm really, I really do like it, but I just had the little mini, so that's my first full size. All right, trying to get down below. Next up is from Too Faced. This is the Coco Contour, Coco Infused Contouring Palette. And this one I saw as a spoiler, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't know what I feel about it. So that's what it looks like. It matches like the face palette and stuff. And this is what it looks like. So it has the light highlight, the medium highlight, and the deep highlight, which I would think are more like setting powders, kind of like I can't see them working so well as highlights because they're matte. And then you have the light contour, the medium contour, and the deep contour. I might pass this along. I'm not gonna swatch it because I don't know what I feel about this. I still have my Tarte Park Avenue Princess that I haven't decided if I wanna use or not. I'm trying to get a little bit more into bronzing and stuff. I'm not really good at contour, as you can probably tell from my makeup. But yeah, um, that's, this is really heavy. That's probably part of the reason why my box is so heavy. All right, and that retails for $44. My last thing, that's why it's so heavy, is this from Grace and Stella. It says it's like an energy drink for your face. It's six face masks. Okay, we are in. So, pull out this. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can just pull them. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So, that's what they look like. Um, they are huge. And yes, they are all exactly the same. So that's what they look like. Wear 15 to 20 minutes, discard and remain, massage remaining essence of the skin. All right, let's look at this card. These retail for $25, so not too bad for in terms of per, per, per mask. It's supposed to help with your um, appearance of wrinkles and stuff, but it, it just says it's anti-wrinkle and energizing face mask. It doesn't say what like, things are in it hydrolyzed vegetable protein i think that's probably the mask itself it has castor oil in it i don't know that kind of bugs me when it's like we're not even going to tell you what these like great ingredients are that we're supposed to have in here but we'll see i'll try them out i think these i'm going to have to try out sooner rather than later because they're so big so I forgot to tell you, for my variation of Boxy Premium, I had number 60. For my base box, it is 72. Let's recap my thoughts on Premium really fast. These are okay. I mean, I probably will use them or pass them along if I don't end up liking them. I have lots of friends who are looking for skincare. The brushes, I'm happy to get because I was bummed that I didn't get them last month, but $90. I mean, they're super soft, but $90. No, 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 no. Leave-in conditioner, I'm actually really excited about that. I am really happy about the Glow Recipe. I was worried when I saw this that it was going to be a um, variation, and I really, that was one thing that I really wanted. Then the Cocoa Contour, this is the one thing I'm not as excited about. It's just, it's meh for me. And then the lipstick, I'm really excited about that. So is that six items? I guess it is. I have two on my lap, two next to me, two on my hands. 
I think it was a good box. I actually was really happy with this because I saw what some other people were getting. Not necessarily with premium, but I was not like over the moon or excited about them. So I'm actually excited about what I got for the most part. These are the most, I'm on the fence about these. On the fence about the Coco Contour, I think it's like the Coco Contour, I think is a nice palette. I just don't know if it's for me. And I'm never gonna use this as eyeshadows. Like, I know people say, use them as eyeshadows. No, those aren't my type of eyeshadows. I like the shimmers. And um, actually, today I am wearing the Latte 2 palette from Dominique. I wanted to do the yellow because I'm actually, I have a yellow shorts on that, that you can see them. But I do have them on. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on these boxes. Do you think they were a good value? Do you not? What did you get in your boxy charm? Are you sticking with the base? Did you get the Lux? I canceled Lux a few times ago. I didn't get the March one either. Or are you um, are you on the waiting list for premium? Have you gotten premium? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And I hope you're having a fantastic day and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.